Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, welcome to our celebration of the sacred mystery on this, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. In order to celebrate worthily, let us begin by calling to mind our failing and asking for forgiveness. When he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him, like a master worker. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world, delighting in the children of Adam. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The Word of the Lord. You and I gather then as the people of God, 
together as a people who have been anointed in our baptism, also in our confirmation. We have been anointed to be messengers of the Lord, to be signs of the Father's love, and to be bringers of the truth of the Holy Spirit into the world and those we connect with in the world. Paul tells us that we are a community, we are a church, we are people of God, we gather. Proverbs tell us that before there was anything, there was God. And one of the first acts of God was you and me. Not the very first, but one of the first. So this Trinity thing is a mystery. And either I believe it or I don't. Either I believe that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And somehow they're all connected. And I don't understand it now, but the day will come when I will understand it. That's why God is God and I'm not. That's why God is God and you're not. We progress in our journey of faith and our journey of life in trust. We trust that the Lord doesn't lie. We trust that the Father loves us. We trust that the Spirit guides us. And if we trust, it seems to me that's enough for me. When the time comes, I'll know it all. But until that time comes, I trust. And I gather that you trust too because you're here tonight to join in prayer, to join in worship, to join in the glory of God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you are able, I invite you to please join me in standing. The other God is off our prayer for all men. We pray for all Christians that they may worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in sincerity and in truth. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and all other countries where there is senseless violence, killing, and destruction. May all of our world leaders work together for justice and freedom for all. We pray to the Lord. We pray also for our brothers and sisters in Christ in Nigeria and for the repose of the souls of the over 50 parishioners who were murdered while attending Mass on Pentecost Sunday at St. Francis Church in old Nigeria. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are ill and ask for our prayers, especially Brian Finnemore, Olivera Lambetta, Joan McGrogan, Christine Boyd, Joseph Kassar, Mary Teresa O'Reilly, Anne Hadman, John Krasinski, Joe Wisniewski, Gabriel Moore, Joan Jones, Gary Gardner, Carol Ann Fraser, Stephanie Armstrong, Brian Gavin, Colleen Richards, and Autumn Jean. May God comfort them and their families in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our deceased relatives and friends who have died, that they may see the face of God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our own particular needs and intentions which are private between God and ourselves. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty God, we offer you our prayer and faith and hope and trust. Most especially, we offer our prayer in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Again, now uh, please be seated. Uh, last week, I mentioned the second collection was for the uh, renovation fund. It should have been for uh, Share Life, of course. I made a little boo-boo. Uh, this week's second collection is for the renovation fund. So, you figure it out.
which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. And again, we say, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify. By the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this offering of our sacrifice this evening, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord. Not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed in us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, their equality and majesty. Therefore, we join the angels and saints in declaring now your glory. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, is the Lord.
There are a number of announcements in the bulletin. I'd ask that you please uh, ensure to uh, pick one up on your way out. Uh, apparently there's going to be a party next week after the 11.30 Mass. It's going to be from the 11.30 Mass to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And you're all invited. It's kind of a meet and greet, hi, goodbye, get lost, whatever. Uh, we're going to have uh, some great sandwiches. And uh, we're going to have uh, some other refreshments as well. You're all welcome to, uh, to come to it. If you can't, you can't. If you can't, come. You will enjoy the sandwiches, 
really are good. And there are a number of other announcements. Pick up a bulletin. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Again, I want to thank you very much for coming to Mass today. You know, coming to Mass all the time is a great inspiration to me and my priesthood and uh, great support and uh, I really appreciate it. May Almighty God continue to bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, love, and serve our God.